So we've got phantom all-wheel steering, a phantom engine. You're honestly getting most of a Rolls-Royce Phantom for significantly less money with the new Ghost. And it gets even better. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Parker Nierenstein, and this is Vehicle Virgins. We've got some incredibly exciting news today regarding Rolls-Royce. Rolls-Royce has finally come out with the 2021 Rolls-Royce Ghost. And it's been a long time coming. You guys will remember that Rolls-Royce initially created the Ghost back in 2009. It's lived a 10-year lifespan. And while there's been a couple of updates here and there, and well, it's still a gorgeous, luxurious car, it started to get a bit dated. Well, have no fear, Rolls-Royce has completely overhauled the car and it is spectacular. The Rolls-Royce Ghost was often criticized as being a souped up seven series. In fact, there's a lot of truth to that. A lot of the underpinnings, the powertrain were derived from BMW, but the new Ghost is entirely new. No more BMW sourced engines, it's got its very own. It's a 6.75 liter twin turbocharged V12 that makes 563 horsepower and 627 pound-feet of torque. All 627 pound-feet of torque are available at just 1600 RPM. That means when you're putting around town, floor the gas, and you've got instantaneous response. You'll note that's the same engine as the Rolls-Royce Phantom. Phantom parts in a Ghost, it's a heck of a lot better than a 7 Series. Now, despite the fact that it weighs 5,600 pounds, it's now able to do zero to 60 miles an hour in 4.6 seconds. That's sports car quick in a luxurious Rolls-Royce sedan. Pretty crazy. Get this, the Rolls-Royce Ghost has doors that open themselves. It's no secret that Rolls has had buttons to close your door. When you explain that to somebody, their first logical question is, where's the button to open the door back up? And there hasn't been that button until the Rolls-Royce Ghost. So let's look at this Cullinan, for instance. When I wanna open the door, you simply pull the door handle. And because it's actually these suicide doors in the rear, it's a little bit difficult to open these big, heavy, bank vault-esque doors. Now, while you can click a button to close the Rolls-Royce Cullinan doors, there is nothing you can do to open them. In the Ghost, it's a pretty cool mechanism, actually. You go ahead and put your hand on the door handle itself, and when you open the handle, it actuates a motor that when you pull back on the handle continuously, allows the door to open in one seamless motion. Rolls-Royce considers this like having your own personal chauffeur. You don't have to close your door yourself, you click a button, and you don't have to open the door yourself, you simply pull on a handle. Only Rolls-Royce would think of things like this. But before we continue to the most important features of the new Rolls-Royce Ghost, I'd like to give a special shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Cuts. T-shirts have been a staple in menswear for forever. Unfortunately, they're plagued with tons of problems like shrinkage, stretching, color fading, so on and so forth. But Cuts has changed the game entirely. Their t-shirts are stylish enough to wear to work, on a date, or really anywhere in between, such as filming a Vehicle Virgin's video. Now you don't have to make the choice between classic looks and modern feel. You get both with cuts. They've got this athletic tailored look to them that honestly, because of the length options, are actually pretty slimming, which trust me, I appreciate. I love the way the cut shirts fit and their Pika fabric that they use honestly feels like butter. It's pretty ridiculous and so comfortable to wear. They're also pre-shrunk, wrinkle-free, and retain their shape super, super well. They've got tons of different options for your neck, crew neck, Henley, V-neck. They've also got a ton of options for long sleeve versus short sleeve. They even have this incredibly soft, lightweight sweatshirt. This thing fits incredibly well. Click the link in the description below to get 15% off your first order. That's right, click the link in the description below to get 15% off your first order on the only shirt worth wearing. All right, 
back to the Ghost. Get this guys, the Ghost is now all wheel drive, which meant previously with the rear wheel drive car, if you lived in the snow or if there was ice, you couldn't drive your Ghost. Now it's practical everywhere. When just driving around town, the Ghost is mostly rear wheel drive for fuel economy reasons. But when you step on the throttle, it switches to an all wheel drive layout. It even has all wheel steering as well, which is super cool. We saw this in supercars and now it's trickling down into sedans and SUVs. For supercars, it's great for handling and stability. But for luxury cars, it makes the car feel lighter on its feet. At 5,600 pounds, it's not exactly light, but because the rear wheels can turn in the opposite direction of the fronts, it makes it feel a lot more nimble. I noticed this tremendously on the Rolls-Royce Phantom. So we've got Phantom all-wheel steering, a Phantom engine. You're honestly getting most of a Rolls-Royce Phantom for significantly less money with the new Ghost. And it gets even better, guys. One of the craziest parts about the Rolls-Royce Ghost is the amount of sound deadening they put into the car. 220 pounds of it. There is sound deadening literally everywhere, from inside the tires to between window panes, every crack you could possibly imagine. They even made sure that the air conditioning was quiet and that the windshield wipers were quiet as well. In fact, get this, originally, they made the Ghost too quiet. What do I mean by that? Well, it was so well insulated that people inside the Ghost testing it felt like they were in an isolation chamber and it made them feel uneasy and sick because you were rolling along the road, yet it was so silent your brain couldn't figure out that you were actually in a car. That's Rolls Royce for you. To create the perfect balance of isolation, comfort, and serenity, sound engineers actually tuned the resonance frequencies of almost every component inside the Rolls-Royce Ghost to operate in harmony at the same frequency. This is stuff that literally only Rolls-Royce would think of. Trying to make a comfortable, luxurious car, but they're talking about resonant frequencies. For instance, the seats, they connect to the seat rails. Those create some sort of vibrations. Well, they added some sound deadening to make sure the vibrations had this low, soft, whisper noise to them. The air vents were recalibrated to make a nice soothing sound. In fact, there was an air vent added to the rear trunk to alleviate unwanted bass notes. The amount of attention to detail is absolutely unbelievable. All right, let's talk about the exterior design of the new Ghost. This is something that very much surprised me. Rolls-Royce asked their customers what they would like in the new Ghost, and an overwhelming response was something that looked a little more subtle. So you want to buy a Rolls-Royce that's opulent and elegant, but you want it to be subtle, but you're buying a Rolls-Royce. I still don't quite get that, Rolls-Royce clearly does, but you can see it as a trend in the automotive industry right now. Rolls-Royce refers to this as post-opulence whatever that means. The new S-Class, for instance, is a little more subtle than the previous generation S-Class. And if you look at the new Maybach, it looks like an S-Class instead of some showy Maybach. Well, Rolls-Royce has taken this ethos and brought it to the Ghost. The design is sleek, it's elegant, it oozes class, and due to the curves and the design of the car, it actually appears a little bit smaller even though it isn't. Get this, every single panel on the outside of the Rolls-Royce Ghost is hand welded, and they do it in a way that's actually unbelievable. They've got a welder on the left side of the car getting ready to weld the roof line in, a welder on the right side of the car, and then they have people on the inside of the car cooling for the welders in one giant unison process. This creates incredibly tight tolerances, which results in the Rolls-Royce Royce Ghost looking like it was crafted from one enormous piece of metal. It's amazing they have to come up with these design processes to actually get the rolls to look a certain way because, well, welding aluminum has its challenges in itself. The new car is three inches longer than before. It's about an inch wider. Yet, like I said before, because of the curviness of the design in the front and the rear, it actually appears a little bit smaller, but you're gonna have some more space in the interior of the cabin. The spirit of ecstasy now sits alone on the hood instead of prior in all Rolls Royce vehicles. It was just in front of the hood so the hood could open and the spirit of ecstasy would remain in the front. I haven't seen videos of what that actually looks like when the hood opens. 
That's interesting to think about. Now get this, of course we have laser headlights, but the front grille itself now illuminates. So not only can you have an illuminated spirit of ecstasy, you actually have an illuminated grill, but not in a tacky way with LED light strips that light up the grills. It's this soft light that disperses from the top downwards along the veins of the grill. The grill itself is chrome on the outside, but it's matte on the inside to disperse the light in this warm, welcoming, elegant feel. And honestly, an illuminated grill, that's pretty awesome. The new interior of the Ghost is obviously breathtaking, a mix of exquisite materials and fantastic design language, although it does look very similar to a Cullinan or a Phantom, and even just a little bit of an iteration from the previous generation Rolls-Royce Ghost. Although when you do compare the old Ghost to the new one side by side, you can see how dated the old one was becoming. Of course, in the Ghost, you can get the Starlight Headliner, but what's more is it has a shooting star feature so you're looking up at the twinkling stars in your headliner and every once in a while a star will shoot across the ceiling that is awesome now if you want something a little more bespoke because well if you name it Rolls-Royce can do it you can actually get a personalized constellation in the headliner itself that they verify at an observatory to make sure that it's accurate so if you want I don't know Ursa Minor, or some sort of constellation based on where you were born that correlates to the South Pole and represents ancient Egyptians, I have no idea, but you can do whatever you want with the Rolls-Royce headliner. But the cool part is, the stars in the ceiling aren't the only place that you'll find stars. In the Ghost, they've added something new. The front dash looks very reminiscent of the new Rolls-Royce Phantom. That is absolutely gorgeous. They've got that gallery display uh, next to the front dash. Now, on the passenger seat of the Ghost, we've actually got this illuminated logo that says Ghost, and behind it, a multitude of different stars that look super, super classy. If you want, you can turn it off, and it looks like one big seam black panel but when you turn it back on it looks incredible then if you want to go one step further Rolls-Royce will do whatever you want in terms of logos and designs on the passenger side of the ghost the air conditioning vents retain those signature scroller wheel designs we've got chrome accents everywhere the air conditioning pushers to turn the air on and off remain the same but everything just looks a little bit nicer the wood trim options you can get in the ghost especially the open pour wood kind of like what you see here make the glossy bird's eye maple wood in the previous generation ghost look like a mercedes from the early 1990s there's even of course a champagne cooler option that has a winter and a summer setting so you can choose if you want your champagne cool or really cool or winter cool or summer cool whatever that means you've got multiple options for how cold you want your champagne to be there could be bigger problems in your life of course the ghost also has tray tables and rear screens for your rear seat occupants such as this rolls royce cullinan but the cool thing is it actually comes with an hdmi port so in theory you could hook up your favorite game console and actually play video games in the back seat of a rolls royce ghost for those with young kids who have rolls royces could be a good option to make sure that they're occupied and not overly annoying Rolls-Royce has developed a new planar suspension system for the Ghost to make that ride even more enjoyable. They call it the magic carpet ride, feeling like you're floating on a magic carpet above the ground. And honestly, nobody nails that like Rolls-Royce does. Apparently this new suspension system mitigates wheel vibration and individual little bumps like nothing else in the world. They won't give us too much details on how it actually works, but you can imagine it is sublime to a whole nother level. There's even sound deadening stuff in the suspension system to make sure everything is cushy, plush, and relaxing. Even the gearbox is state of the art. It's an automatic gearbox, but it actually links up with the car's GPS. What do I mean by that? Well, it uses the GPS to determine the route you're going and what upcoming turns and elevation changes there's going to be in the road. Then the car actually selects different gears based on if it thinks it has to go up a hill or around a turn. How ridiculous 
is that. Your Rolls Royce is literally a genius. Safety wise, the car has radar based cruise control. So you make sure you don't smash your ghost into perhaps your other ghost in front of you. It also has a multitude of different cameras. So you can see a top view or a side view of your car to make parking more easy. Overall, the new ghost is incredible. It looks gorgeous inside and out. It's now got a bespoke engine from Rolls-Royce, so no longer can you complain that the Rolls-Royce Ghost is a 7 Series because it is not any longer. It's been redesigned from the ground up to be quieter, more comfortable, more luxurious, and a lot quicker than ever before. With the all-wheel drive layout and a multitude of interior features, it's sure to be a winner. Hopefully in the near future, there'll be a Rolls-Royce nearby or a press event where I can actually get behind the wheel of the Rolls-Royce Ghost and actually drive it for the channel. Regardless, I'm incredibly excited to see the car. It's been a long time coming. I can't believe it's literally been 10 years of the Rolls-Royce Ghost Generation 1 and they finally come out with the second generation. Which begs the question, imagine what the new Rolls-Royce Wraith, which you imagine is gonna come out very soon, is going to look like. That is going to be ridiculous. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.